Right, everybody loves to be paid monthly. So I'm gonna go through my portfolio, highlight every single monthly paying position I'm in. ETFs, income funds, CEFs, BDCs, stocks in general. And I'm gonna show you exactly how much I got paid in November for monthly paying stocks, which then should be the same as December, January, February, March, and so on. Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new to the channel, head down and subscribe so you don't miss a video and like the video. As always, if you actually like the content and you like what I'm putting out there, then like the video, helps it to grow and get to more people. So today I'm looking at income investing really, and I'm looking at monthly payers in particular. I'm gonna go through all the monthly paying stocks, ETFs, income funds, BDCs, CEFs that I am involved in. And I'm also gonna give you a breakdown of how much they paid me in November. So we can look at how much I'm probably gonna be getting in December and in January and in February and so on and so forth. This way of investing is not gonna be for everyone. A lot of people like their dividend growth stocks. I was talking to someone on YouTube yesterday and they prefer their dividend growth investing because over a number of years, they're gonna get more out of it through that dividend growing constantly than fixed in one place in this particular high yield at the time. I like my income investing. I like getting the payments on a monthly basis. Stocks that do that, income funds, BDCs, CEFs are quite often high yielding anyway. And that's just the direction I'm taking the portfolio at the moment. Anyway, let's get in there and I'll outline all the positions that I'm in and how much I'm being paid for it. Right, so here we are in the portfolio, and we're gonna go through all the positions that I'm in, how much I got paid in November for each of them, and there's a couple more that I'm in that haven't paid out in November, because I've only just recently got into them. So, let's go into that here now. Let's go into history, <clears throat> go into the portfolio, and just quickly, some of you may have realized that the portfolio is a little bit lower than it was. Uh, the eagle-eyed viewers amongst you, I'm going to wind another video, but not today here we go this was november so starting from the bottom let's go through the, each one and how much they got paid and i'll pop up on the screen on the calculator as we go along so these are monthly payers i get paid this every single month plus more because i'll go through two more that are in the portfolio that haven't paid me yet but will so pimco corporate and income opportunity fund paid me 20 pounds and 99p next one up is agnc some of you like it some of you don't fact is they pay me every single month and i'm quite happy with that so i quite like them 18 pounds 28 next one is a global x super dividend reit etf that was six pounds and 95p straight in the bank Realty income, the monthly pay, everyone loves them. Five pound and 65 for these guys. We're building it, building it. Oxford Lane Capital Corporation, the new one for me, they paid me six pounds and 38. I've lost it for a second. Now, back to the portfolio quickly because there are two more to show you. So I've got two more in the portfolio. One is another Global X ETF. It is the NASDAQ 100 Covered Calls ETF. A lot of people know this. Now I've looked into this and they are gonna be paying me next month, 25 pounds 52, which is a decent amount of money. So we're at 83.77. And the next one on the list that hasn't paid me yet, but will be in either this month or next is XAI. Octagon floating rates and alternative income term and trust. So we've got 23 pounds and one, uh, 10p coming from those guys this month or next. So total is, you can see it on the screen there, I'll pop it somewhere on the screen, 106 pounds 87. That'll be $135, $140, $150. I don't know. That'll be a number of dollars. So I know I'm getting paid £106 every single month from these monthly payers. Then you got the quarterly payers that come in when it's their turn. And you've got the biannual payers as well when it's their turn as well. I've only got, I think, one, maybe two in my portfolio where I suddenly get a lump sum from them every six months. But I know that I'm getting paid £106.87p every single month. And that comes in drip feed, drip feed, drip feed every single month. And that can just be compounded and compounded and compounded every single month. And that's the beauty of it. That's why I love it so much. I will likely continue to invest in monthly payers. I'll likely continue to invest in a lot of these ones that I'm involved in here. Uh, PIMCO, AGNC, uh, the Octagon, Royalty Income. I drip feed into that all the time. Uh, they're, they're, they're just really nice to know you've got the money coming in on a monthly basis. So £106.87, 
nice amount of money just to know you've got coming in on a monthly basis and good to know that my money is working for me this is not been affected by the money I've recently taken out of the portfolio, which again, reasons I'll go into in another video, but my portfolio was at 73,000, it's now at 60. These positions have not been affected and my higher yielding stocks have not been affected. So my income should not be affected a great deal. It, it will be a tiny bit from, from where I've taken them out of, but my monthly income shouldn't be affected at all by what I've done more recently. So I'm still getting that return on my money. My money is still working for me, which is the main thing. So that's it, that's a breakdown. PIMCO, AGNC, Global X, Global X, Realty Income, Oxford Lane, and the Octagon. They're the positions, there's the portfolio. Complete transparency as always, and I'll see you out. That's it for today's video. Yet again, as always, if you like the content and you don't want to miss a video, subscribe to the channel. I like the video if you liked the content I'm putting out there, it really helps. And pop a comment down below what I've missed or what you don't like about what I'm doing on my portfolio. I probably won't change anything about it, but you can let me know. And also share this with a friend if uh, if you feel like that's appropriate for a friend to, to see, if you're trying to get them into investing, if they're a bit like, oh, I don't get the payments frequently enough and they wanna do monthly paying stocks and, and more income investing and get that drip fee through, then share it with a friend, make sure that they're aware that they can indeed do that with these stocks and these positions. That's it for today's video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.